Welcome to the D&D Safety Hub installation video. This time I'd like you to pause the video and uh, read the disclaimer in the description. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get started. If you have an older style Cavalier, you'll have to convert over to the 2003 to 2005 brake system. Once you've done that, you can remove all of the associated brake hardware except for the spring here. And you'll need either one strong spring to bridge across the top of the brake shoes, or in this case, we're using two smaller ones, one inside the other. In your kit, you're going to receive the adapter, four bolts, one and a half inches long to attach the adapter to the axle, and three bolts, one and a quarter inch long to adapt the wheel bearing to the adapter. It's highly suggested that you use an original GM bearing, which is what we're using in this case, or Mood, as um, aftermarket suppliers uh, generally aren't, aren't as strong. You also receive in the kit a one inch bolt, a flat washer, a lock washer, and a, and a nut. I place this in a vise, set the flat washer on, set the bearing down, lock washer, and nut, and torque that to 200 foot pounds. At this point, we can install our adapter. So I'll apply a generous amount of red Loctite. And we're going to install the adapter with the flat side down. I want to get these four holes lined up here, like so. Put the adapter in place and get that bolt started. I'm going to start all the bolts. Using red Loctite on this. I'm just going to snug on the first. Down through. a 9 sixteenths socket. We're going to be leaving a, um, a list of all the tools necessary for this installation in the description. Again, we're just snugging these down for now.
closer. That one. For the final tightening sequence, we're going to crisscross. See that? Right here. this point, we can install our bearing. We have our three holes for the bearing. Line them up. There's three holes in the bearing flange here. We're going to use the larger one to install the first bolt. Because the, the washer is bigger than, than the bolt hole, you can't Put the wash the flat washer on the bolt. You have to put the lock washer on, set the flat washer behind, and feed the bolt through the flat washer and into the hole. I'm just gonna get that started. Second bolt. Feed our flat washer in from the back side. Slide the bolt through the washer, through the wheel bearing, and into the adapter. And it's a little difficult to get your fingers in there, so I'll just use a combination wrench. Hold some positive pressure on that. With the combination wrench to turn the bolt and get it started. That one started. Again with the red Loctite. Washer goes behind, feed the bolt through the washer. And then through the bearing and into the adapter. And we're gonna do our trick here where we hold in on the bolt. with the wrench to get it started. And that's starting. Just use an impact to speed things up a little bit. Point we use a ratchet and extension. Tighten that up the rest of the way. That's pretty good. That's good. Let's draw install our brake drum. Spacer washers. We 
at that point, we can mount the, uh, the wheel and tire. Now, if you did have to convert this over from the older style uh, brakes to the 2003 to 2005 brakes, at this point you would uh, bleed the brakes and then reinstall the wheel. If you have any questions, you can contact D&D Safety Hubs on Facebook or phone them directly at 216-240-3944. Thanks for watching. Be safe and good luck.